the classiest fucking place on earth. Good fucking morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed the music. I fucking love that Joy song. It's been stuck in my head for uh, since I heard it. A week. I wake up singing it. We just want you to be happy. That is stuck in my head forever. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Kinger. Good morning, Bert. Good morning, Rip. Good morning, Brilla. Good morning, Mismo. How are you? I hope you're doing well. We got fucking slammed with snow overnight. So I kindly request you all um, do some black magic so I don't lose power. Um, <laughs> snow doesn't necessarily mean I'll lose power. I lose power for no reason at all. Perfect, beautiful, sunny, 70 degree weather and we'll lose power. Um, but, you know, we're testing the fates today. <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's just like... Honestly, I'm just nervous that I'm not going to be able to get on my plane. Um, do I have solar yet? No. So the only, like, we've, we've considered solar, honestly, but the only companies around here that we've really uh, found. Ooh, Rod, I almost missed that link. Hold on, I got it. Um, Rod, it's Spotify. Can you give me that link in YouTube? Spotify will be on my VOD. I can't play Spotify because it will record on the VOD. I know. It sucks. But I want to listen to it. I'm sorry. It's terrible. I feel like snow and solar don't mix well. I don't know. I Honestly, I have no idea how solar panels work with snow and stuff. Solar is really big around here, though. Like, lot, almost all, like, not almost all the houses, but every block has at least a couple houses with solar. But the companies around here that do solar are the ones that, like, rent you solar panels. So you, good morning, whimsical, you don't own them. You basically, they, you don't even rent them. Basically, they're like, we'll put them on your house for free and you get free, free energy. And then they take all the extras. But the problem is now you have something stuck on your house that you own your house, but you don't own the things stuck on your house. Yeah, Ripper's, that's exactly what we would do. We've thought about it strongly. But renting is, it's, I mean, it's not even renting. It's like, it's a, it seems like such a scam. I don't know how anyone buys into it. It's sad. That's why you don't lay the panels flat. So the snow slides off. I was going to say that most people have panels that like move. I've watched them. Like the panels are flat on their, they're flat initially, I guess, but they've got like joists. I guess it's a joist. Is it a joist under them? So they hinge so they can move with the sun. They're pretty wild. I mean, they're, they work really well if you like own them. <laughs> I guess. Good morning, Damien. How are you? Good morning, Vissy. How are you, my love? I have a 13 megawatt solar array in my backyard. Does it work? Yeah, Rod, like, like, uh, like Rod's saying, solar is huge here. Ev like solar, like there are so many houses with solar and I'm constantly getting those stupid pamphlets on my door from the people that want to like put solar panels on my house that I won't own. And I'm like, no, get the fuck out of here. Ooh, Rod, thank you. Sorry, gorillas. We'll play you later. Don't be muted, motherfucker. I'll come for you. App Zoe, duh. I mean, Zoe, Vissy, duh. But Zoe, duh. <laughs> Vissy, duh. Of course, any, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm home. I have no plans. Of course. Of course. My electric bill is usually zero in the summer. That would be nice. Our electric bill is relatively low, especially since we got these, um, mini splits but it's it's higher than the rest of the neighborhood because we run to we run four computers eight hours a day simultaneously that's a lot of power this song is really good where'd you find this Ooh, i like this a lot rod can you guys hear it i don't want to jack the volume up too high but this is really good <gasps> you're gonna cook oh i'm down dude Vissy, the house is looking so much better you're gonna feel like you're in a new house when you come here when Vissy surprised me a few months ago, my I'm I've been you guys know I'm like tearing this house apart. The house is old; it's kind of like shifting and all this chaos. And so I've been slowly going through and like, you know, spackling where the window frames aren't seated anymore and all the, like every I've just slowly, slowly. It's a process, but I've been going through this house and just trying to fix it up a little bit. And when Vissy surprised me, it was literally a construction zone, and I'm mildly neurotic about my house being clean. Like, you guys know I vacuum, like, three times a day. I'm a little psychotic about it. And when it's under, like, this fucking construction zone, I was just, I felt so bad. I was like, the house is in literal chaos. Like, there was nowhere to sit. Things were just piled in corners, moved away from the walls because I was painting walls and spackling and shit. And, like, 
just the past couple of days, when I wake up in the morning and I walk out here, it actually feels like a room now. It doesn't, the house doesn't feel like just this combobulation of construction all the fucking time, which is so nice. <laughs> Absolutely, Ty. Good morning, by the way. Oh, fuck yeah. Lingrim, good morning. Meow, motherfucker. Ouch. Wait, did I say plane? Where are you traveling to? It's a secret. I'll tell you in a couple of days. Ouch. Oh, God. Tight as fuck. I didn't give a fuck. I know. Well, same. I mean, I was super excited, but you're going to be, sh I mean, the house definitely feels a lot different. It just feels like a house. I feel like I'm, I'm slowly and finally getting to the point where my home is starting to feel like a home. Like there's a couch you can sit on. There's a recliner. Like there's, you know, it's not just like an office plopped in the middle of a, a space. <laughs> Is, I'm going to save this song and listen to him. I really like this. A lot. What is this like genre? What would you call this genre? Because this is, a, I love this. It's like almost like m melodic metal or something. I don't know. This genre, like I, I find a lot of music that sounds like this. Like it's got beautiful music, but some amazing metal screaming in it too. I fucking dig it a lot. Pop metal. I kind of like it. There's something in my eye. Sorry. Good morning, LZT. How are you, my love? How is Sweden? Is it cold? We got slammed with snow today. It feels like Sweden here. It is frigid. The dogs wouldn't even go outside. <laughs> I opened the door this morning and both the dogs just stopped in, a, in the doorway like... No. <laughs> I felt really bad. I actually, like, I left the door open this morning and I went and brushed my teeth and stuff. And when I came back out, normally the, both the dogs are just sitting in the yard, like, hanging out or running around playing. And both of them were sitting inside, just staring out the door. <laughs> we had snow for a few days, but it's all gone now. Oh, no shit. Is it pretty warm there? You failed your first exam today? Fuck, dude. I'm sorry. We've all been there. I've definitely failed exams many times. Shit sucks, dude. Tests are a stupid way of judging someone's intelligence, in my opinion. Good morning, Robo. How are you? Bad Omens gets tons of praise on Twitter, so I checked the album out. I've never, I've never heard of them. Bad Omens. I'm going to write them down. I saved the song, though, just in case. Um, into I'm going to put it in my playlist the tits save thank you that's a really good i like that song a lot um i've had uh, a song stuck in my head all morning um it just left me my brain is so there it is starcadian starcadian how are you robo good morning I heard, oh my God, I heard some terrible news for Texas today. Oh, Robo, sorry, you remind me of Texas all the time. <laughs> um, I heard that in Texas, there, in Houston, there's like a water warning. And like over two, like two million people have to boil their water before they can bathe, brush their teeth or anything. Yeah, two, over two million people in Houston. Wow. That is alarmingly, yeah, boil water notice because like, Apparently, a sanitation plant lost power for an hour or something, and all shit went down. That is bad. Like, dear Texas, whoa. And it's the beginning, right? It's the beginning of winter. Like, imagine you lose water, and you can't run water through your pipes, and all your pipes freeze and then crack once the water comes back. Like, the idea of what's going on in Texas right now. And they do get slammed with cold. I mean, we've all seen it now. Like, no one can claim Texas doesn't get cold. <laughs> It definitely happens. It's fucking scary. Houston has a water advisory. People find it out via Twitter. That was, Zoe, exactly. That was the part I was going to bring up. There, so the whole city claims they put out like an announcement, like an, a notice saying, you know, boil, the boil water notice because it's got bacteria in it or something. And people were finding out via Twitter like 24 hours later. That's bad. Get your house together, Texas. It's one of the reasons I live in Austin. Does Austin ever have shit like that happen? I feel like Austin's an island. Austin's definitely an island. <laughs> Good morning, Glad. <laughs> also. <laughs> I mean, Texas is almost a third world country when it comes to the infrastructure at this point. It, and they, like, their, their you know, government. Um, I, when I say Texas, I hope you guys know I'm not talking about the people of Texas. Their government touts them like, oh, we're the best fucking uh, Texas. And it's like, fuck, we're watching you crash and burn. We're watching you go down the black hole. You can't, you got to stop claiming you're okay. You're not. 
guess oh no and guess which parts of the cities didn't get notice notif- notified of the water of the boil water notice let me guess was it redlined people minority groups uh poverty in poverty poverty areas maybe people of color that's my guess am i right i don't want to be but i'm guessing i am i just learned that a man can't be called a fiance if he isn't from the fiance region of france <laughs> he's just a sparkling boyfriend <laughs> A Brosecco, if you will. <laughs> I'm gonna call people Brosecco from now on. That's too fucking good. <gasps> that my alert was so fucking low. We probably did, you didn't even hear it. I heard it. Crispy. Thank you for summoning the class, keeping the class alive, and giving name swings for so many fucking months. That's a really fucking long time, and I appreciate you. Thank you, love. God damn. Damn. <clears throat> Before the Repubs took over, our infrastructure was so much better. Oh, abs- I mean, that's we were watching them drive it into the ground. It's crazy. I haven't been able to drink my water the five years I've been here, so not surprised. No shit, Ty. Is it like bacteria? Wow, a state that doesn't invest in infrastructure is having problems? Color me fucking shocked. Penetrate that asshole. Amen to that. Good morning, Laura. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Depends where in Austin. I'm in a good space where we usually keep our power and water going. That's nice. Honestly, I don't think Denver loses power as often. It's literally just our house. We're on some cursed power, power, whatever, group. Thank you for 32 months, Crispy. That's a fucking long time. God damn. Thank you. They didn't invest in their infrastructure just like the rest of the USA. The assumption of it still works until it doesn't, right? It's like... It's very much true, Dread Pilot. I feel like humanity in general, we're very much a society of wait till it breaks and then try to f- and then get pissed off when we can't fix it because it's beyond repair. We do the same thing with our bodies. I used to see it in the hospital all the time. People would come in in their 50s and 60s and they're like, well, I smoke three packs a day and I drink a case a night and I feel kind of bad and I don't know why. Can you fix it? And I'm like. Hmm. Well, let's talk about that. <laughs> it's very much that way, though. I feel like it's hard. They don't. Oh, um, up in Michigan, up in Michigan, lead is still an issue in the water lines. And now PFAS from the old paper mill dumping for years. My dogs and I both can't drink the water here. No, sh- you still don't have water. Wow. That's sick. That's sick, Ty. Did you watch the Yee Walk? The Yee Walk? Wait. The like ye- like Kanye, like Ye, not ye- I'm saying Ye, like a fucking idiot. Ye, like Kanye? No, I didn't. He walked out of an interview. Wait, is it funny or is it just depressing? <gasps> oh my god, you're gonna get a lychee? Shut up. <gasps> oh my god. Can I ask you how much it's gonna cost? For those that don't know, Lichianus geckos, le- uh, Rachidactylus lichianus, I believe is the name. Rach- Rachidactylus lichianus is the scientific name. They're the largest gecko in the world and easily the the rarest gecko in the world. I have two. They're my dream gecko. I love them so much. (laughs) They look like a wrinkly old man's scrotum with like a skeleton inside of it. They're hilarious. But they are so fucking expensive. I went to the reptile show recently here in Denver. And I shit you not, they were selling Lichianus geckos for $3,000 a piece. A piece. A piece for a gecko! I saw one for six grand, which is crazy. Got the new, but I'm excited for you. They're, they're seriously, they're so weird. <laughs> they're some of the weirdest geckos I've ever owned, but they're real fun to watch. Perfect, perfect example in our interstate road system. We patch and build more lanes, but the underlying infrastructure is still fucked because it was built in the 60s and 70s. Absolutely. We just keep pouring more shit on top. <gasps> e of the dead. Eve the dead. Yep. I thought I thought I spelled it. I thought I read it wrong. Thank you for following my channel today. Welcome to the channel. It wasn't entertaining. He's just, he, he, de- he depresses me. Kanye depresses me. I am, I will, you guys know, I'm a self-professed, very big fan of the music that doesn't exist anymore, sadly. I, he's a, he has made some fantastic music I can't listen to anymore. And that's weird. He depresses me. He's a fucking psycho. What up, Slow Cloud? How are you? By the way, anyone that stopped by the little RP thing over on the Wandering Tavern yesterday, thank you for, so much for stopping by and hanging out. 
Um, that was a little surprise. That was so much fun, though. If you didn't get to stop by, I got to do an RP show yesterday on uh, the, the Wandering Inn. And it was the weird, like, it's so hard to explain the system wasn't a system. So, like, you know, your first question is going to be like, oh, what system was it? Was it blah, 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 blah. It, There was no system. It was called Microscope. And essentially what you do is the group builds the world while you play. So, like, you go around in a circle and you each person adds things or takes things away from the world. Like, you can ban guns. You can ban electricity. I took the sun away because why not? <laughs> And then um, after a while, you get to go into scenes and play out scenes like in the timeline of the world you've built. It was so much fun. That was hilariously nonsensical fun. That was a, I want to I want to do that. Like that would be something super fun to do with friends. Like I feel like anybody could do that. You don't need to know anything about role playing or or D and D or anything to play that game. Anyone could play that game. That is so much fun. Kanye, Kanye was on a, on a podcast with Tim Pool, the shithead, and was saying Jews were canceling him. Tim Pool was trying to sidestep the Jews comment by saying corporations in place, and Kanye just stood up and walked out. As a Jew, I would like to cancel him. <laughs> I don't think canceling people's real. Uh, because fucking Louis C.K. got best comedy album of the year this year, and that's fucking alarming to me. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't want anybody in the public eye that's gonna say shit about what we already got Herschel Walker to deal with. Like, get the fuck out. He, this is the walkout. I just want to see him walk out. Hold up, and child. As if you could show your face. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck, 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 fucking fuck. My chat just did the doubling thing right as I was reading Viata's chat. Why you do this, computer? Um, at, the, at most, 700, depending on what local, <gasps> what local I pick. The adults they have go for 900, but locally, they're the best breeders in the area. That's really cool. I went with a local, I went with, a, like, not a breeder, but a lady who had, who had Lichianus who just happened to breed them on accident. So she was very low scale, very casual. And I believe mine were 600. A piece, and I got them like you know, little wormy turds, and they are so. Oh my god! If you're getting a baby, I shit you not, they cling to your thumb. They're as big as your thumb. This is how big your baby will be, but it's gonna get this big. It's they're so cute. Oh, you're gonna die. They're so cute. <coughs> Luckily, can just get a heavy duty lead filter, but still, shit. I have no end in sight because the past thirty years they've deferred funding. Right? I mean, what's do they have any plan for this? Even worse, after they tried to clean the lines and ended up stripping some of the lead out and flooding the system with it more. Oh, that's nice. That's very cl That's nice. That's nice. That's disgusting. If you, sh if, you, if you could show your face in these here interwebs, I would not be there to see it. As if you could. As if you could. What's most fucked up is Ye Yay, the anti-Semite Fuentes having dinner at Mar-a-Lago with Sweet Potato Hilter. Hitler? Hilter? Katie? Hitler? Oh, my God. That whole thing. With Trump having the Nazi at his, I just, it's just too much. <laughs> it's just, oh, I can't. You know what, Scott? Honestly, we were going to Uber, but with all this snow, maybe. Rod offered us a ride, too. I don't know yet. Like, maybe. I don't know if I want to, maybe. We'll see. And Herschel Walker doesn't even live in GA, and he's trying to run for Senate there. Oh, my God. Have you seen him lately? He has, like, uh, the dude from Texas who abandoned the state last year during the huge freeze and one other Republican guy just like stand behind him 24 seven. Now I think they're puppet. Like they have this, their hand up his ass and they're like Ted Cruz. Thank you. That guy. Yeah. It's pretty wild to watch the shallow end with Tim pool. I mean, that's a pretty clever name, honestly, because he's not clever. I was going to say a raunchy, a raunchy ir irreverent quip about the game you're about to play, but then I read the room. I might still whisper, wait, you can say raunchy jokes. Pussy, do you know how many pussy jokes we, we made while we were playing Stray on Sunday? All, it was nothing but pussy jokes. I literally have a black pussy friend that follows me around and I get to lick its asshole. If you don't make pussy jokes while I play Stray, you don't, what, are you new? <laughs> yeah, the coward and the turtle. The turtle, that guy, that, that fucker, yeah. Oh, is it Lindsey Graham? It's not the turtle. I thought it was the turtle. Maybe. 
You should carry the mood from the room to the whispers. <laughs> Keith Ol Olber? No. Olberman? No, I'm going to have to write him down. I've never even heard of him. The Countdown? What kind of podcast is it? McConnell's the Turtle. Thank you. Forgive me if I don't remember the names of these horrible people I don't give a fuck about. It's terrible. They're the turtle, the shithead who d abandoned his dog in Texas. You know, this is how I remember them. They think I'm going to remember their name. I just remember the, the image of the dog staring out the front door in negative degree weather while the entire city was freezing to death and Ted Cruz was in Mexico with his daughter. That's all I remember. <laughs> Your name means nothing. You're a piece of shit. Um... Oh, with real pot? Oh my god, Robo, how do you feel right now? <laughs> Ol Olberman? Olberman. Got him. When I was in high school, my teacher told me not to worry about my spelling as much as auto as, as autocorrect would only get better. I gotta say, for that advice, I'm eternally grapefruit. <laughs> Man, I'm still a bad speller. I'm a terrible speller. <laughs> No sh wait, Ty, what? They quadrupled my water bill to catch up on funding, but so far they have they have only put a speed bump in the front of my house. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Dude, I'd vote for you. Oh, I want to plan a trip around or two around a concert. Oh, dude, I'm down. You know what? Vissy, message me later about that. My sister and I are thinking of traveling to like Europe or something this summer. To go to a con like because we went to a concert last summer. We're like, why don't we just make every year we like go somewhere absurd for a concert? And if you want to come, maybe you could go. That'd be fun. If you want to travel that far, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about international travel. I, I take for granted how like confident I am when it comes to that shit. I know that's weird for most people. There's too many people to keep up. Honestly, there's too many villains. There's too many villains. It's like event. It's like the Avengers. The GOP has become the Avengers. There's just too much for me to care about at this point. Everyone's fighting with their fists. Can we change how we call diarrhea Hershey squirts to Herschel squirts? Oh my God, yes. Her it's Herschel squirts forever. Herschel squirts. Oh my God, that's amazing. I'm going to go take a Herschel. Countdown is a news-related podcast. Olbermann started on ESPN that was an MSNBC before he left. Oh, oh my God. I think I know exactly who that is. Oh my God, that's why the name's familiar. I think I know who that is. I'm gonna check it out. Bitch McCockhole. <laughs> the, the dude who voted against being, allo being allowed to be married to his wife. None of it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Some jerk up my way abandoned his dog just by, wait, by just locking it in a closet and moving. All right, so I try to make a habit of not wishing ill will or death on people because that's not fair, and who am I to judge? However, you lock a dog in a closet and leave it, you deserve to roll around in a pool of syringes and Legos naked for the rest of your life with no food or water in a closet. What the fuck? People who abuse animals, man, I just, that's where my, that's where my, like, that's where I start to get a little, um, not so, not so politically correct, I guess. I start to wish people death. <laughs> Damien, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, you're a sub. If you sub to my channel, you have free reign to post links. Obviously, we'll still ban you if you post shit. But it's just a safeguard, because according to Twitch, if someone posts, like, murder porn in my channel... I'm responsible for you guys clicking it and seeing it, even though I didn't post it. So I assume if you sub to me, you're not, you're not going to do that. <laughs> that being said, being a sub is not free reign to be a fucking piece of shit. <gasps> what is this? Hold up. I gotta, can I make it bigger? <gasps> yes, I can. Okay, hold up. What is that? Is that? Wait, is that like an animatronic? Wow. That's how I got one of my cats. Her previous people moved and locked her in a house. Well, now she has the best life ever, so I guess it was a win, but Jesus. When the landlord showed up a week later, she was feral and starving. I would not be able to handle that. I honestly, that almost made me just burst into tears, the thought of that. 
What is wrong with people? That is not okay. Dude, right, Kona? And you look your cat in the eye and you say, princess, don't worry about it. That's what I say to my dogs all the time. Every time I hear a horrible story like that, I'm like, don't worry, guys. Everything that I have will be fucking taken care of as best. I just can't. How do you do that? I remember one time when we were a kid, we moved into a house and the people left their dog with us. Like they didn't lock it in the house or anything, but uh, they were moving somewhere that they couldn't take the dog or something. And they were like, do you guys want to keep the dog? It comes with the house. And we were like, okay, we were great. I mean, of course we would have taken the dog. Like we're else? It was adorable. Like old keys hound. But I've never understood why anyone can do that. Oh my god, Taco Existential with that motherfucking raid. Welcome, raiders. My name's Classic Katie, and it's fuck tabulous to meet you. What up, Taco? How are you? Good morning. You've had her nine years now? Oh, I hope to god she doesn't even remember that part of her life. I hope to fuck, because that's broken. Good morning, Anna Jean. How are you, love? Can't post porn. Just not, like, murder porn. You know. <laughs> exactly, Sally. And that was, like... Like, to me, though, that's, it's still scat. Like, to me, I could never just be like, hey, you're buying my house. Would you like to take my life partner with you? But I'm glad, I'm grateful they did that instead of locking a dog in a fucking closet to starve to death. What the fuck? Welcome, Raiders. We're talking about something so depressing right now, but welcome to my channel. What's up? How are you doing? We're talking about people who abandon their animals in houses and leave them. Apparently, this is a thing people do. I love animals more than people, and that shit fucks me up. What the fuck? That's not okay. I didn't know that. That's what, that's my opinion. Exactly. Like I try to make a habit of not, you know, wishing death or dismemberment or pain on people because who am I to judge? I'm not a perfect person. However, there is a very special place in hell for people that abuse animals. I agree so wholeheartedly. If you have a kitty cat or a puppy dog or anything near you that you can stroke and reaffirm its safety in life, please do so right now. I would, but my dogs are conked out on the couch. <laughs> Let's cheers. I have a stoner bowl of something from last night. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I just, I want to see those people stub their toe on sh sharpened Legos for ever. Like, that is just, like Viata was saying, this is, this is where we got on it. Viata was saying, when, she, when they moved into their house, the previous owner locked their, locked a cat in the house and left it to starve to death. Like, they just didn't want to take their cat, so they just locked it in the house. Like, not that this is right either, but the least you could do is let it out for fuck's sake. Like, cats can survive, but Jesus Christ. And when the realtor showed up, the cat was feral and almost starved to death. And now, but happy ending. Viata has had this animal for nine years now, and it has a wonderful life. So, the cat is okay now, and hopefully he has no memory of this. But can you fucking imagine? Right, Susie? Like... I can't even walk past my dog. If my dog looks at me and I don't pet them, I will be guilt ridden. Like, I'm like, I didn't give them love when they looked at me. Like, I can't even fathom. Cheers to animals being the best thing ever. Ugh. Yeah. Thank fuck there's a happy ending. But I didn't know people did that. That's sick. Cheers and gross. Right, Trekkie? And that's me. Like, I've, I think the pet I've had the longest is probably my snake, Midna. A snake. I could not do that to a snake. <coughs> I can't even imagine. It's so fucking weird. Oh, are you doing your, oh my God, I have to, I have to start. I have to write that down, actually. I was trying to, um, I've been rewatching Big Bang Theory. Big Bang, like, um, I feel like there's a certain population of people that have a show that they just put on and just let it restart itself in the background all the time, like while you're doing things and you don't really need to watch or pay attention because you've seen it a million times. And I don't know why, but for most people, it's Friends. I've never even watched Friends, so it's not that for me, but it's Big Bang Theory. And I was, I had it on yesterday while I was um, shampooing the carpets. And I was like, isn't there another show I'm supposed to be watching, right? <laughs> Letter Kenny, because there's a new season coming out. Oh, 
Oh, I love Brooklyn Brooklyn Nine Nine's another good one. Yeah, Brooklyn Nine Nine, Big Bang Theory, um, Parks and Rec is another one I restart and watch a lot. Like not watch, they're just on, you know, to have sound in the background while I'm like doing stuff. Supernatural. We just finished Super. We just Zach and I were rewatching. We we just literally binged all of Supernatural. I don't even know how long it took us. I'm a little ashamed because I don't think it took as long as it should have. <laughs> but we just watched it all. Yeah, like there's just some shows you just how I met your mother exactly. You know every episode, you know everything, you just put it on in the background and that's kind of big bang. I there I have a, I know a lot of people hate that show for some reason. Good morning, little sister. How are you? Um for some reason people have a thing against Big Bang Theory. They're like, "Oh, it makes fun of nerds or it attacks people." Like I f- don't feel that. Oh, <gasps> sophisticated fun guy. Oh, hey there. What up, Boo Bear? How you doing? Thank you so much for some of the class. Keeping the class alive and giving it an anus. It's wings. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I like Seinfeld too. Seinfeld's another one that I've definitely binge un- un- unabashedly. <laughs> I can do a. I can do a mean Elaine. <laughs> Office is another good one. Harry Potter. Yep. Harry, the Harry Potter movies are great. Those are, I always, I put those on in, during Christmas time. Like during December, the Harry Potter movies are kind of my Christmas movies, which is maybe weird, but they always have Christmas in them. I'm almost done with Sandman. Oh my God, did you like it? Which is saying something because I hate one of the people in it. Oh no shit, who? Can I know? Oh, <gasps> Taco, you fucking silly fuck. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Dad Bods Unite. Dad Bods Unite, agreed. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my stream, my name is Classic Katie, it's Fucked Ableist Michi, taking my breath away with the choice from my fucked up family today. Go forth and be consensual. There's nothing in this world is sexier than pure sober consent and hail the dank lord. Thank you for being here today. I really, really liked Sandman. Big Bang uh, just didn't do as good, as good a job fact checking itself on the nerd stuff. Oh, 100%. I was more like, I have a big soft spot for Sheldon. I identify with Sheldon hard. Like, I feel like in, inside me, I'm Sheldon, but I learned how to be a person on the outside. Like all of his things that start to drive him crazy. I and people make fun of him. Like everyone in the show makes fun of him for it. I un, I sympathize. I'm like, don't touch his shit. I get mad at everyone else in the show. Like I to, I understand. I get it. Like I have a major sympathy for Sheldon. I that's the reason I'm really into it. But yeah, I mean, none of the nerd stuff's perfect. The older I get, the more my dance style warps into Elaine's. 100%. It's just Elaine now. <laughs> oh, Community is a good one. I, for me, Crispy, it's really hard. Like, because Community is not a show that, like, I, once, once Troy and Abed in the morning's over, I can't, I don't like it anymore. Troy, by far, wasn't the best character on the show. But the chemistry between Troy and Abed was the best. Like, it was just everything. And once he's gone, the the show just feels kind of sad. I don't know. It just feels empty. It feels like it's missing something. I don't know. It makes me sad. <gasps> Cut and run. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's so good, though. Andor is so good. No spoilers. I usually try to give people a month when a new show or something comes out for you to watch it, get it over with before we talk about it. Um, because I figure if you don't watch it in a month, like you don't care that much. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't care enough for the spoilers to really ruin it for you. Andor's fucking amazing. If you haven't watched it, bring tissues. Holy shit. So good. Ken Jong is one of the, the best parts about that show. 100 percent Yeah, he's so fucking funny. <gasps> Sally, thank you for the biddies, you crazy. Did you just put us in a hype train? You fucking ass. Thank you so much for putting us in a hype train. If you don't know what a hype train is, you get free emotes from Twitch, but it's nothing. Thank you. Oh, it's real good. I will not spoil it for you guys. I find it funny the pile people pile on Big Bang for the treatment of Sheldon, but the office piling on Dwight is fine, right? And like Dwight was arguably kind of a mean person. Like Sheldon's just neurotic. Is this the lovely and talented Miss Katie? I haven't been able to catch your streams for a while. Welcome, Evil. How are you? How are you doing? I'm hoping stream stays the... F- is it Disco Elysium? It might be. We were listening to Disco... Not Disco Elysium, but we were listening to the artist who made the soundtrack for Disco Elysium. So different music, but from it. And it was good. I miss you too, sister. How are you? We got so much snow today. It's so cold. Get sub, nerd! Oh, Taco, thank you for gifting a sub to Sally. What the fuck? 
Sally, you know what's up. Consensuality. Emotes. Hail the dank lord. Thank you for being here. Aw, frigid. Bless you. Thank you. I hope the same. I'm I'm really been digging Wednesday, but I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I really like I really like Wednesday too. Like I have a few very minor complaints, but honestly, I think that's because it's geared towards a younger audience and I'm in my 30s. <laughs> like I have to accept that things aren't going to be made for my 30-year-old self forever. You know what I'm saying? So there's like parts of it that are just like it's about a kid in high school. Duh. It's high schoolish. And that shit, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But overall, it's fantastic. I think they did a really, really good job. I'm not done with it. Don't don't spoil it. We watched episode uh five last night, I think. You get what you woe. You reap what you woe. I think that was the one we watched last night. Good morning, Mags. How are you? Andor is the best show on television. It's so good. I mean, Andor, there's something about Andor. They did, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the magic is, but they are able to flush through at least five episodes and you have no idea what's going on and you still want to watch. And that's magic. Like, who can do that? Check out Owl House, Millennial Nostalgia Wrapped Owl House. I feel like I've heard of that or seen it somewhere. That's you've tingled my dingle. I feel like I've that uh, I feel like I've seen it or something. Hold up. Uh, I'm a very analog person. I have to write everything down, otherwise I don't remember it. It's terrible. Dad bods, thank you for gifting a sub to Laura. Laura, you support was the highest order. Go forth and be consensual in every way. Thank you for being here today and accepting these wings upon your anus. Vissy, be safe and don't work too hard. And I love you. I'm excited to see you. I recall my 30s. It was at least a decade ago. I mean, they're not bad, but you know what I mean? Like, there's shows that have come out that I really like fantasy. I, I think I, I will like fantasy forever. I love high fantasy. But most shows that come out that are fantasy are geared towards a younger audience. So they're very much like, the one unique pretty girl who's not interested in anyone mysteriously has a whole bunch of different boys who super want to pork that. Like, I just don't want to see that anymore. I'm so done with the Bella thing. The Twilight, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But I get it. Like, I understand that's not a flaw with the show. It's just that I'm beyond that. I get that teenage girls, that's their dream. They want a bunch of mysteriously hot men to, for no reason at all, want to pork them. And that's the, that's the, I get it. I don't want that, but sure. I get it. It's just not my thing. I have seen Atypical. I liked it. It was good. Owl House is about a kid that ends up in a, in a demon realm and becomes a witch. Oh, I'm down for that. Andor wasn't desperately hanging on the tales of Star Wars. That was it. Yes. So it could still be in the world, but still shine. Exactly cut and run. I felt the same way about Andor that I felt about, um, uh, the movie that Andor's in that is my favorite of the new movies, and I always forget the name. Uh, oh, my God, Brain. Brain, go. Help. Why? Rogue One. Jesus Christ. My brain always wants to say Revenge of the Sith because there's an R. Every single time my brain's like, Revenge. No, it's not Revenge. That's so. It came out before you were born, Katie. Shut the fuck up. Every time. That's what my brain does. It's so stupid. Rogue One. Rogue One was easily the same. It was like... You never heard the name Skywalker, and I really liked that. I'm so fucking sick of Skywalkers. I don't care about them. I don't want to see them anymore. I don't want to hear about them anymore. I just don't care. Stop pushing Skywalker on me. Give me new shit. Rogue One was fantastic. Perfect movie. Right, Mishy? It's easily, I mean, in my opinion, it is the best of all the new. Of all the new Star Wars, including episode one. Like, through everything that's come out since I've been born, I would say it's easily the best one. I fucking love Rogue One so much. Peripheral, oh my god. The, uh, Mag, are you talking about the show The Peripheral? The one with Chloe uh, Moretz? Because I literally just started watching it and I just suggested it to my sister. It's so good. Oh my god, Sarah, do you like it? Isn't it good? I remember this being a place where what, where where what might consider controversial conversations were okay. Is this still true? What do you mean? I mean, to a certain extent, like, I'm not here to argue. I'm not open to talking about, like, 
racism and trying to logic that like you know what i mean like we talk about religion and politics but when you start bashing someone's religion or bashing someone like not into that but yeah absolutely i think things become weird and controversial because people don't talk about them you know what i mean i think it's important for us to talk about stuff have differing opinions and still be okay with that like we don't all have to come to the same conclusion to be friends at the end of the day as long as we're not evil people trying to take away the rights of humans or make interracial marriage illegal, so on and so forth. Like, you know what I mean? You can absolutely pose a hypothetical, yeah. Holy fuck a duck, real weed is so much stronger than Delta 8. Oh, honey. Robo, don't... T pace yourself, brother! Pace yourself! <laughs> I really like Peripheral. I, I started watching it by myself and I stopped because I wanted to watch it with Zach because I was like, this is weird. This show is weird. I gotta watch this with someone. There's too much going on. I'm an old, same. <laughs> so we always wondered about that mission while playing with our figures. <laughs> you know how big the damn galaxy is and you guys keep stroking it to the Skywalker boring? I'm saying. I'm fucking saying, Bobo. Like you've put us in space where we have light speed travel, infinite races, and yet... I don't care. I don't care. And I think Ray is a really boring character. I hate me. Oh, Robo, seriously, you're going to get fucked. I remember when uh, Eliza and I drove to, to Colorado from Baltimore. We went from the illegal, the illegal hash weed to the nice weed. And Zach had got us weed. So when we got here, we already had Bud. I've never been more high in my life than smoking that. <laughs> I still remember how fucking high Eliza and I got. It was wild. It totally wild. <clears throat> Apparently, MN is going to get dumped on tonight. We're getting dumped on right now, Najil, so much. Just got a call from the school, and they're letting high school and middle schools out early and canceling after school activities. I, I'm not even kidding, Najil. So, the end of it, we're in MN, Minnesota. They don't do that. I was literally just going to say, like, you're in Minnesota. Aren't you built for that? Like, you guys are the state that we always see on Reddit <laughs> where people open their front door and the snow is to their eye level. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I think when I think Minnesota. <laughs> Ray is just, it's the writing. It's nothing against the, t the, the actress. She's probably, actually, I know she's fantastic. She was in The Bubble and she's really fucking funny. Um, <laughs> if you've never seen The Bubble, great movie on Netflix. However, her, she's so bored. I don't care. I know nothing about Ray, and I don't care about her. No one does. People care more about BB-8 than they do Ray, Because she's written fucking boring. And if they make her a Skywalker, I'm going to cut my ears off. There are some opinions that are so heinous, there's no way for me to be friends with the people that hold that opinion. Exactly. That's exactly what I was trying to say, Viata. Like, there, there are certain things, like... We can disagree on movies and music and, you know, m people that are beautiful, I guess. But, like, if you're like, you know, I think white people are supreme to everyone else. I'm not going to argue that. I'm just going to walk the fuck away and not talk to you anymore. Like, that's not where we're, you know, yeah, 100%. There are some topics. Like, if you were like, by the way, I'm a turf. Want to talk about it? I'd be like, no, I don't. In any way. <laughs> Transgender men are men, transgender women are women, and they owe us nothing in the terms of how they look outwardly, inwardly, or act. Period. End of story. Love is love. Um, okay, so let's say that you weren't happy about your breasts and were considering a boob job. I've always wanted big, huge boobs. And somebody showed you an article about a girl with three, three boobs. Would I get three boobs? I would not get three boobs, no. Two boobs already fucks up my golf game. Like, when I golf, I wear a sports bra that actually sometimes cuts off circulation to my arms just to suck my boobs closer to my chest so I can swing my fucking golf club. And the third one, I just don't know what the fuck I would do with that. No, nah, probably not. <laughs> no snow in Austin yet. Yet. <laughs> I know, but they keep putting them together, Genova. Like, you gotta put Ray up against someone who's not as badass for us to see her as badass. But, I mean, even the fights they put her in, they're just sad. I just hope they move away from the Skywalker saga. So much more interesting. I agree. I agree. Like, I, lo I love the original trilogy. I owned them on VHS as a child, and I watched them over and over and over. 
like they're perfect. We don't need it's like Star Wars started to feel like the Land Before Time movies. I'm not kidding you. There's like 26 Land Before Time movies now. Like they put the Roman numeral 26 on the front. It's getting asinine. And that's what I feel like. But I don't want like we don't I don't the Skywalker saga is not what's holding me to Star Wars. You know what I mean? That's not what keeps me coming back is the hope of a Skywalker. I come back looking for a new bar scene. I want to see the bar. I want to see the bar. I want to see the new aliens and I want to see the instruments. That's what I go for every single fucking time. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to be mad. But this guy, I just don't give a fuck. Am I crazy? Not at all. You just have a different want. If you can get three boobs and you want them, why not? I wouldn't. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, what? also, like, people only have two hands. So, like, it'd be like a mouth, two hands, and then, I don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot to handle. Disney doing the Marvel treatment. That's what it feels like. Yeah, they're trying. And then, I mean, I don't want to go off about Star Wars all day because I know people have very uh, polar opinions about Star Wars, and I'm not here to ruin anyone's day. But naming a movie The Last Jedi and then having a Skywalker scream, I will not be The Last Jedi. Nah, bitch. Fucking nah. The blue milk. The milking of an alien. What the fuck? Like, tell me this is your first time writing a Star Wars movie and you really wanted to make an imprint without telling me this is your first Star Wars movie and you really wanted to make an imprint. Oh, I love the streaming Star Wars. Honestly, Trouble, I agree. I think what's coming out, like, in terms of the animated series and the, ser like, the and or and all the other series that have come out star wars like on disney i think they're better than the movie the new movies other than rogue one 100 yes! percent. <gasps> zoe motherfuck thank you for some of the class keeping the class alive the end of the name swings for 28 months at a tier three jesus christ thank you zoe oh <gasps> hooked up with a couple cuties one time during a threesome and fell asleep during festivities the <laughs> they kept going at it while I was napping and were super sweet and loving to me when they were done and we milked aliens for blue milk <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> goddamn blue milk <laughs> I'll never get over the blue milk why why uh, maybe budget constraints kept that I will not be the part of the marketing material, maybe. <laughs> the Star Wars movie I want back is the is the backstory movie of the blind guy and his pal. Me. The Force is with me and I am with the Force. The Force is within me and I am the Force. What does he say? The Force is with me and I am with the Force. What does he say over and over? They broke my heart. Again, fucking amazing Rogue One. Holy shit. I gave up on the big franchises. Can't do it anymore. There are too many ecosystems to keep up on. And with the wife's occupation content overload, I, that's how I am with like Marvel and stuff. Like I basically have the few Marvel DC characters that I'll follow their individual videos. But when it comes to all these mishmashed like Let's throw every single fucking superhero into one movie, and at the end, they're just going to fight with karate in the air. Even though they're superheroes with superpowers, the final battles will be karate. I'm over. I'm just not. I'm over it. I'm, I'll, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't, I don't watch them. I don't care about them. I just have, I have no. They, it's like you said. They're just washed out at that point. I mean, Trophe, why not? I'm not here to tell you how to live. The Star Wars movies I want are the Rogue, the Rogue Squadron books in movie form. Oh my god, that would be incredible. I liked the solo film, but nobody else seemed to. I so the movie I didn't think was terrible. It didn't really feel like Star Wars for me. That was a big thing. And this is personal. Nothing on the writing or anything. But the guy that they that they cast to play Solo, young Solo, the two movies I've seen him in, he's a rapist. 
And in one of them, I get to watch, I got, I got to watch someone snap his neck with a belt. And it's really fucked. Like, I can't see him in any other light. Like, he's just that creepy dead eye smile he has is the rapist with his neck snapped in all the mo- the two movies I've ever seen him in. I don't know, man. He just, there's something about him. I don't like him. He didn't strike me as solo. He just didn't have the solo swag to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, totally personal. Still not a bad movie. Like, I'm still down for Star Wars. But it just was kind of, I didn't, I, I don't know. Maybe I, that could be because I've just, you know, like, you definitely get, um, unintentionally biased or whatever in your head because it my solo is my solo from the original trilogy and that's who my solo will be forever in my head you know what I mean you can't change that I think they were making the new solo as a way to like capture new young audiences or something running up that hill I love this song I was so happy when it got in that movie and got popular again what up music man how are you I did. I just streamed and hung out. I did. I don't, I don't, I don't shop a lot. Like I'm not, I buy things when I need them and that's about it. I want a Star Wars movie set years and years away from the Skywalker stuff. So there's no way for them to be involved. You would think that they, I mean, how many years before current time is Star Wars technically like the world they're in? Karate. (laughs) I never wanted to learn karate. My brothers used to beat me up all the time. I wasn't into it. Wasn't that Donnie Yen? I don't remember. Was it? I'm really bad with names, Sarah. You know that. I am, I'm one with the force and the forces with me. I'm one with the force and the forces with me. That, those two guys, I would watch a series about them, Mag, in a minute, in a second. <gasps> Hi, Lilac. How are you, love? Hayden Christensen, man. What is that? What was that? What was that casting? <laughs> what was that? Honestly, though, I do like him when he's burnt up and evil. It's the pre-evil Hayden Christensen that I don't really like. Who goes outside anymore? I don't know. I tried to delete the sun yesterday. Like, what does that say? (laughs) Poor Eddie. I loved Eddie. He was great. This might be excuses. No, my opinion isn't the be-all, end-all. Like, that's just me. I know that's my own personal hang-up about him. I get it. Um... He, but whoop, whoop, my chat did the thing. Um, but I feel like he got a swagger as a defensive thing because of what happened to him in that film. That's absolutely positively true. That's probably absolutely a thing. And I just, you know, because of my own fucking hangups, I probably couldn't like get into the movie enough to even realize that towards the end. That's why I mean, like, it's on me. It sucks. I hate that. My, my fucking chat does this thing every once in a while where it doubles up and I just have to scroll it a couple times to make it go back. It's so stupid. Who's Mara Jade? Why do I know that name? Anna. I really haven't seen a bad Star Wars movie or show. I love the universe and I'm willing to give Jar Jar a break. That's me too. Like when I say I don't like X, it's still Star Wars and I'll still watch the fuck out of it. Like it's a bad Star Wars movie is still better than most movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? hundred percent right there with you like it's not a bad movie in terms of the star wars movies that's when i'm like it's not my favorite but still they're still the best movies 100 percent agree with that good morning Silv. how are you he was emo space teen not hayden's fault 100 percent. yeah i think he did real well when he became evil though like when he was all burned up and evil-ish stayed home for thanksgiving after having a minor breakdown oh Oh, boo, music man. I hope I hope you continue on the uptick. I'm sorry you felt shitty. I love stretching. I'll never turn it down. Yes, Sarah. I like some of it. Some of the songs are a little poppy for me, but some of the songs are fantastic. Dermot, um, uh, Dermot Kennedy's new album is really good. I mean, again, it's like Star Wars, like a bad Dermot Kennedy song is still better than most other songs. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. Put it in five seconds slow mode. Wait, put what in slow mode? The movie? I love this song so much. Jar Jar. I think Jar Jar was part of the dark side. He was a spy. I could see that 100%. Marjade was Luke's first apprentice, but was secretly working for the Emperor to kill Luke. She wasn't a noodle head, right? (gasps) 
Hi, Mel. We should cheers. She wasn't a noodle head, right? Because I know Ahsoka, but Ahsoka was uh, Darth, Hayden Christensen's uh, secret apprentice in the books. I don't know if they've put that on screen yet, have they? I don't think so. There's Twi'lex. There's two different noodle heads, right? There's Twi'lex, and then there's another noodle head that's a different species. I, I, I never want to specify because I can't remember which one's which. One of them, I think they're all like the same color. Oh, she was human. I don't remember. Mm, I have to, my memory. I have all the Star Wars books. I'm gonna have to go look for them. There's three. Oh, no shit. There's three of them. Slow cloud, what are, what is the, do you know Ahsoka? Oh my God, do you not, hold on. I have the Ahsoka book out. <gasps> this is not... Is this a Twi'lek? I thought this was not a Twi'lek. I thought Twi'leks didn't have the little horns. See, big Star Wars fans still fuck them up all the time. There's so many. I love the noodle heads. But I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't, no, no, Chronicle, I can't remember. I, fuck, I'm legitimately asking. I don't remember. Two have tentacles. One only has one noodle. Okay. Okay, yeah. So this is Ahsoka. And if, this is a really good book, by the way. Um, Ahsoka is I'm oh, oh my god Ahsoka was Darth Vader's secret apprentice that he technically wasn't supposed to have because he wasn't a full on like he was still apprenticing and he took on an apprentice if I'm remembering correctly and Ahsoka is I don't know if this is canon because I read a lot of like you know uncanonized <laughs> Star Wars online and shit so my brain's a little mixed up, but I believe she might be the the only gray Jedi, like canonly the only gray Jedi. Meaning she doesn't have a side. She she's not a Jedi. She's not, or she's not a Jedi. I guess she's not a Jedi or a Sith. She's in the middle. This book is real good. If you ever get a chance to read this, this is one of my favorite books. I've read it a couple times. It's it's kind of uh, it's a little dense, but it's good. I really enjoyed it. She's a to Togruta. Togruta. Am I saying that right? Because she's got, see, these are, this is what I mean by the noodles. And then Twi'leks don't have the little horns on top. And their noodles usually go behind. And they can be different colors, right? Like Twi'leks, their noodles are usually the same color as their skin. Whereas Ahsoka, her noodles are like hair. Yeah? Yeah, she, she might be the true Jedi, exactly. Like, we don't know. I don't think anyone's canonly, like, I don't think anyone, if, like, has nothing... It's hard to talk about because there's so much like lore and theory crafting in the world. And I read so much of it and I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. I love that just mentioning Marjorie brought all the Star Wars books. Oh, bitch. <laughs> all we need is Rhiannon and then the circle would be complete. <laughs> the guy with job actually had two noodles, but he kept one tucked behind. Oh, no shit. Okay. Cannot, canon, canonically, canonically. God, that word is hard. Um, she went to the dark side and then came back. That's what I thought, right? Like, she went to the dark side because of Anakin. Yes, Lords of the Sith, fantastic. That's also on my bookshelf somewhere. I just don't know where. I knew where this one is. My bookshelf is color. It's a rainbow. It's color-coded. Not by author or anything because I'm a psychopath. And I knew what color. This is a blue book, so it was on top. <laughs> I don't. The Sith one's a red one. It's somewhere in there. Uh, you know, actually, it's time for a break. We haven't taken a break today. Let's take a quick break and I'm going to run over to my bookshelf and see if I can find that one too. Because it's real good. I have, the, I have a couple Sith books, like one that's all the Sith rules and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> she does not, yes. Okay, thank you, Dukat. She does not identify as Jedi. That's what I thought. Not a big fan of Ahsoka. I really like Ahsoka. I do not like that they cast What's Her Fuck as Ahsoka. Um... Because a bunch of news came out about her and her family being hella turfy. And that makes me really sad. Because this is easily one of my favorite Star Wars characters that hasn't existed yet, really. Like, this is not, you know, the casual Star Wars person would be like, who the fuck is that? You gotta be pretty nerdy to get into the, deep, the deeps. And they cast, what is her name? Uh, oh my god. Light my candle in Rent. Light my candle. Oh fuck, what is her name? Oh, 
Rosario Dawson. Jesus Christ, thank you. Yeah, Rosario Dawson. So they cast Rosario Dawson to play Ahsoka. And some news came out. And again, I don't want to like perpetuate shit that's not real. I don't know. But a lot of people in the community sent me some articles where her family like attacked a trans person who was living in a in a rental property they owned. And there's like video or audio footage of them just screaming anti-trans type language at this person. I don't know. Right? It fuck I don't know though. Like I've I hope to fuck it's fake. I'll say that. I don't know. I don't want anyone to be a fucking turf or an anti-trans piece of shit. That makes me sad because Rosario Dawson's a really good actress and I enjoy her to looking at her, but if she is, I don't want anything to do with her. That makes me sad. If anybody knows like definitive information on that, de fucking definitive, I would love it. Because I just don't know. It sucks, but really good book. And she's an amazing, she's a cool character because she's kind of like, um, if you like like Deadpool or uh, characters like that, she's not necessarily an anti-hero in, as a character, but she's real. And I really like that about her. She doesn't, she's not 100% brainwashed by the Jedi code. She knows it and mostly follows it a little, but she's not like, you know, a fucking Jedi robot of the code. Da, da, da. She has real thoughts and you get to hear like her inner dialogue. And her inner tumult over the world and, like, the balance and whatever. And it's just, it's really good. I advise, all the Star Wars books, honestly, that I've read personally have been very good. Like, well-written, entertaining. If you like to read, they're good. Let's take a quick break. I need to load a bowl and then I'll, I know you guys cheers without me. I'm going to post cheers you. Um, Let's take a quick break real quick and I'll see if I can find that Sith book to show it to you because it's good. I talk about Star Wars all the time. We do, I do want to play Stray though, but it's fine. We have all day. I'll be right back. Which is a fucking joy. Burr. It might be a flaming car. If you put it up higher, it errors. Yeah, it does like an error on it. Sorry, we were looking at our uh, the, the air conditioner or the heater, our mini splits. If you put the heat on, it errors for some reason, which is real nice. <laughs> I could think of several people who could. I mean, they have those duck tours. People have floating cars. Why not? I like that background a lot. I think it's very peaceful. The water looks cool. Ooh, this song, this is called All For Us by, oh, what is his name? Um, 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 Labyrinth. Spelt L-A-B, Labyrinth. I'll just give you the link. It's really good. It's actually a song from Euphoria. Euphoria's got a badass soundtrack, man. The show's all right, but the soundtrack's phenomenal. <gasps> Hello, Mayo. Penetrate that asshole. How are you, love? Good morning. Hello, Fram. Good morning. Thank you so much for summoning the class, keeping the class alive, and giving a name to Swing Sunny Bean. How are you doing? How is your day? I'm just bitching about snow. What up, Chucky? How you doing? Yes. Oh, I love. He's got such a pretty voice. He's got such a, like, he's got a, oh, I love this song. He's got a pretty voice and a really unique sound. Thank you for the resub, Brem. I'm going to pack a bowl. Oh, fuck. I forgot the Sith book, but I know where it is. Hold up. I'm going to grab it real quick. So I don't think this is the same one we were talking about. I can't even remember now, but we were talking about a Sith book. This is the book of Sith. This is the one I was thinking of. I have the other one somewhere. This is just on where I can see because it's red. (laughs) But the book of Sith is pretty cool. It's like the Sith doctrine and shit. It's pretty neat. I still have the literal like tag on it. (gasps) Oh, Shapey. Is Shapey? Oh my God, Shapey. How are I had so much fun yesterday. I spent the first hour of stream telling people all about it because that campaign was so weird and cool. And I honestly think that microscope system, <laughs> strong quotes that we used, I think anybody could do that. Like, I kind of want to sit down with my family who doesn't even know how to turn computers on and try to get them to do that. I feel like anybody could do it and have fun and like learn the fun of RP through it. You know what I mean? It was just dope. I really enjoyed it. Oh, my wife's sick with COVID? No! <gasps> but I haven't gotten put on my ass yet? Oh, fuck. And I have a pot roast and slow cooker. Oh, my God. How long has it been there? Does it smell amazing already? 
<gasps> oh, okay, Damien, right up on the Rosario Dawson thing, fucked up and hadn't heard of it. So it's, is it legit? No. Red articles on both sides. Seems like a shitty situation all, all the way around. Most of the charges against Rosario were dropped by the plaintiff without settlement. Oh, really? Interesting. Hmm, I hope she's not a bitch. <gasps> Sales, what the fuck? 30 fucking months, how in the hell? Thank you for stepping the class, giving the class 11, giving the native swings, honey bean. I appreciate you. Jesus Christ. Stay fucking classy. Good lord, that's a long time. An RP drinking game for real, though. <laughs> Hello, young. How are you? It's decent, Bat Penguin. Good morning. It's, it was so ridiculous fun. And it was like, the cool thing about the microscope thing was like, I feel like, even though, you know, Christy and I were getting a little fucking weird with it, you could really be as ridiculous as possible and it would still work out if you had one person there who like knew how to bend it to work like RP, you know? I don't know. It was fun. You could do anything with it. I love that stuff. It already smells amazing. Oh my God. Yes. Mississippi pot roast. There's nothing like smelling pot roast, man. Yes. And my wife's good. She only had a fever for a day. Fuck yes. Good. So just a lingering cough and muscle aches. I was going to ask, like, is she, does she have to quarantine or anything? She's fully vaxxed. And see, that's everybody I know who's fully vaxxed and, va and boosted and everything. If they, even if they get COVID, they basically get a cold for a day and it's gone. Like, I got a worse sinus infection than people who are getting COVID with vaxes get. You know what I'm saying? The title and thumbnail? No. Wait. Wait, are you talking about the layout in the Discord? Wait, I did see, I saw some graphics. Is that what you're talking about? I saw some. They're fucking gorgeous. But if there's new stuff, I haven't seen them yet, and I have to look. Um, but yeah, I was just showing people. This is the Book of Sith. And it's like, it's cool. It's like, you know, looks like different pieces of paper written together. And there's like a book within a book. And it's illustrated. It's got really pretty pictures in it. I don't know. I'm a nerd. If you like Star Wars, this is a pretty cool book. <laughs> and then <clears throat> this is probably one of my most treasured possessions. <laughs> Speaking of RP, um, it's the, the Age of Rebellion core rule book. But it's got so much fucking lore. Like just start, like it breaks down a lot of Star Wars lore. I've never even played a game out of this, but the lore in it is crackhead worthy. If you like Star Wars, like it breaks down Jedi powers and stuff, you know what I mean? And kyber crystal shit. And it's just, oh, I could go on. I won't go on too deep because it's embarrassing a little. <laughs> it's in the Discord channel. Oh my God, I'm going to have to look. No. <gasps> I think the kick-ass kick and chew gum system is the easiest to get people into actual role play. What are those? I've never even heard of those. You still have your smell? Thank fuck. I saw a funny post this morning of someone that was like, it was like one of those, you know, that one time. And it was that one time I hotboxed my room because my whole family had COVID and couldn't smell it. I thought that was pretty funny. I got a load of bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not judging me. I, it's, I have like... Like, I'm not just obsessed with Star Wars. Like, there's some Star Wars I hate, and that's where I get... Like, I know a lot of people think, get over yourself, you know? It's just a, it's just a movie. It's just a series that... But, like, I, I didn't have TV when I was a kid, and I watched... Like, we lived off those Star Wars movies. We had the, the VHS, you know, trilogy. And my sister and I would watch them literally constantly. It was like you know, not a religion, but almost. And when you, when it just gets stomped on and shit on and pissed on and vomited on about all these baby writers getting into the Star Wars ranch, you just want to die. <laughs> Good morning, Bull V. How are you, love? It's very silly. I mean, if you made a serious anything for the show we created yesterday, I don't, I'd, I'd question your, your brain. <laughs> Oh, no shit. There's a new creature from the High Republic books that nullifies the force. What? I haven't read. Wait. The High Republic. I feel like I have one of those. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to write that down. It's so hard. Like I was saying earlier, there's so much other extraneous, like, Star Wars stuff outside of just the movies. It's really hard for me to keep track of all of it. And I read a ton of, you know theory crafting by fans online like on reddit and shit so my brain is i question what i think is canon a lot i'm like i don't know if it was but i read a lot about it <laughs> it's terrible oh did you thank you i was trying to open up discord i hadn't opened it yet oh i can't even say that chronicle 
I tried a few systems based on microscoping to start some RPG sessions immediately more engaging, right? It's like when you when you get a chance to start building the world yourself, I feel like people understand it better because they built, oh my fucking God. Sheepy. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking outdone yourself, my dude. <laughs> That's fucking gorgeous. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> the chickens. <laughs> so if you didn't have, get a chance to experience the wonder that was the RP show we did yesterday, uh, please, please check it out on The Wandering Inn, twitch.tv slash The Wandering Inn. Uh, camels, chickens. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god, the audiobook abridged story version record of Empire Strikes Strikes Back. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's a treasure. <laughs> the whale, the whale worm. <laughs> Everyone is earthworms. <laughs> and the title for those that are just listening. Our camel overlords neglect the danger of the whale hybrids to the chicken equator. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. The name. Our camel overlords neglect the danger of the whale hybrids to the chicken equator. I don't know what else. There's no way to, you just have to watch it. It was super, super fun. I'm not trying to like catfish you guys and watching something shitty. Seriously, it was myself, Saffy Pie, Krusty, and Sheepy. And we played this really cool system where uh, it's called microscope, microscope. And you basically go around the circle of players and you create, you build the world. Literally, step by step, you build the world as you go. And then you create a timeline and then you get to pick parts of your timeline to play out a scene and actually like role play a scene in your timeline it was a blast i had a fuck like honestly we didn't even have a break it was three hours no break and it was the one of some it was the fastest three hours i've ever experienced in rp i've n it was gone like all of a sudden the sheepy was want was like fucking wrapping up and i'm like wait it's been three hours since when just because everyone's involved the whole time. There's no, there was no time where I was just sitting waiting, you know, like just listening or whatever. You're always involved the whole time. It was a fucking blast. Check e Equator is extra crispy on the other side of the planet. <laughs> Special spice blend. It basically ends with everyone having to describe how they want to try and do normal actions in a kick-ass way. That's beautiful. The Great Leveler is just one is just one member of a species of creatures called the Nameless or the Shri Karai, eaters of the Force. Shut up! <gasps> I have to go find these now. I you have you're tickling my dingle right now. Like I kind of want to. <gasps> Ospex, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the Wandering Inn. Ugh. Well, now you're stuck with me for at least a month, Sheepy. Enjoy your fucking emotes. <laughs> Jack. Thank you for 11 months, bitch. Thank you for some of the class, keeping the class alive and giving an age swings. Nothing in this world is sexier than pure sober consent. And I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm just packing a bowl. <laughs> What's the title of stream today? Meow. Because once I get a bowl packed, we're going to play some fucking Stray. That game is so astronomically beautiful. I am blown away. But... Like, I don't know what I was expecting out of that game in any way, shape, or form. Not what we're getting. And I am so into it. Like, I don't want the game to end, honestly. I just want to be a cute kitty cat and meow at things forever. That's it. Oh, it's so much fun, Kona. I'm having a... I'm seriously, like... I think Sales g gave it to me as a gift literally, like, two months ago when my capture card pooped itself. So I was like, Fuck! <laughs> They look like cosmic horrors. No shit. Oh, I'm not even going to look them up yet. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> How far along are we? We are. Let me think. 
I could just uh, let me uh, actually I'll start moving screens away, around so I can open it. Um, we are. I'm t I don't even like I don't know how to tell you. I know exactly where we are, but I don't know how to tell you where I'm at. We talked to Momo once. And I think we're doing the next thing after we talk to Momo, the dude who like didn't go with his friends to the surface. I think. <gasps> Hi, Anus. How are you, my love? It's all the High Republic stuff. First book is The Light of the Jedi and it weaves into comics. Oh, my God. I'm going to go on a deep dive. <gasps> I gave some I gave some sheet music to the cute bot that doesn't didn't have any music and he played us a song. Yep. Um, we'll jump into it. I'm opening up. I'm trying to open up Steam right now and I'll show you, but it's, it's kind of a, I don't know how to say, cause there's like, there's not like a checkpoint, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to, I really, I'm struggling with just how to say where we're at. Uh, but I'll, I will show you. Oh, wrong keyboard. Captain. I can type, it's fine. Music. <gasps> Robo, for the next 30, 45 minutes, I hope you enjoy the next 30, 45 minutes. Let us, can we cheer? Are we gonna, well, Robo, you might not cheers. <laughs> you might be so fucking high. <laughs> but cheers. That's some good pot. I think that's Girl Scout cookies. Nope, runs. It's runs. Such a good strain. <coughs> it's no wonder they mix runs with everything. And hold and release. You know what's funny? They've done trials and scientific studies, and the results say that all of the THC you're ever gonna absorb from a hit, you absorb within the first second. <coughs> and holding the hit does nothing. However, it does cause you to be slightly anoxic, which gives you a lightheaded feeling. So a lot of people think holding the hit makes them more high, but really you're just kind of suffocating. <coughs> I still do it. It's habit. What do you, I feel weird not doing it. It feels like a waste of the weed. I'm like, but what if there's, you know, I'll always hold my hit. It feels weird. <coughs> my bong is glass. Yeah. I don't know if they make plastic bongs. They make silicone ones, but I've never seen a plastic one. Oh, dude, fuck yeah, we'll have to listen to this later. Oh, hell yes. That's the Tiny Desk. I love, I love Tiny Desk. 